Hey there, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments. So the download is this. There are some people that are using you as an excuse to distract themselves from their own effed up existence, or at least that's the way that they perceive it. The drama that they are experiencing. Well, first and foremost, what I receive from ancestors is that about 90% of that drama is self-inflicted. It's all about perception, right? And they're creating their own reality based off of this victim mentality and state of affairs that isn't actually true. It's not even theirs to own. Now, how do we know this? How can we understand this is because one, the fact that post distance, we've realized and recognized that about, I'd say 85% of the stressors in our, in our own personal worlds have been based off of someone else's burdens, someone else's choices, someone else's life, right? And so that's what I receive for others as well. But the thing of it is, and coming full circle, is that the fact remains that they are trying to use you as a, a scapegoat, as an excuse, as a distraction, as of all these things for them to ex escape their own hell loop that they've created for themselves. And not only that they've created for themselves, but that they keep feeding into. It's almost like the hell loop almost wants to resolve. It wants to dissolve on its own, but because of their own perceptions, that victim mentality, that victim state, they keep rebuilding it. Every time a brick crumbles, they put it back with the brick and mortar, right? They solidify it, right? They're essentially... What I see is the vision is someone stoning themselves up behind a brick wall and then complaining about being trapped. So then as they're bricking themselves off, they're calling you to help take the bricks out, right? And had it been previously, you would have came along and you would have taken those bricks out. But at the same time, as you're taking a brick out, they're replacing one in a different place. And so you couldn't understand why it felt like you were climbing an uphill, you know, fighting an uphill battle, right? But it was because one, you were trying to dissolve and take away someone else's karma, which was never yours to solve in the first place. Two, you were taking on someone else's burdens as your own, which was preventing you from actually living your own life and being fulfilled. And three, I don't know what three is, but that's up for your own personal discernment. The bottom line to this bottom line is it's not your bag. It's not your concern. Do not allow anyone to dissolve your own mental state just for the sake of them supposedly building their own because that's not your truth and it's not even theirs.